Hi. So today I want to show you these uh, very strange devices that I didn't even know existed, and you probably didn't know they existed. But hey, there you go. Fake blackberries. Um, these were donated to me by Steve Main. Shout out to Steve. He's got a great website. Uh, it's kind of like a database of every BlackBerry I've ever made. Uh, all detailed information there. I'm gonna put a link in the description. And he said, "Hey, I have this bunch of fake blackberries. Do you want them?" I was like, "Yeah." I had no idea that these existed. But um, today we're gonna look at them. And he said, Steve said that he never tried to turn them on or anything. Um, none of these have batteries, so I'm gonna use my uh, trusty test battery right here, which is a BlackBerry battery with uh, these connectors here. And um, I'm going to turn them on and see what's inside of them. And I'm going to compare them to the proper BlackBerry because these were all inspired by real BlackBerries. They're not exact copies and you're going to see in a minute. So the first one here, um, this was copy of the 8900 BlackBerry right here. This is my personal 8900, my beloved one. I used this one for years and years and years. So here's the copy. Uh, let's look at it. It still has this sticker here we're going to remove in a minute. Uh, Wi-Fi plus TV, quad band, dual camera, super orbit bow with flashing lamp support gravity sensor wow uh, it does have a camera here you see right here the real one just had a LED light there and let's remove this stick right here alright now all of these are actually pretty good quality uh, some of these bezels here are metal, they're pretty heavy. Um, this one doesn't even have a battery and it's just as heavy as the original BlackBerry. So they're good quality, it's just... Eh, the keyboard is, is too clicky, isn't that? Right, and... Um, Okay, let's remove this sticker as well. This just shows you how to remove the back cover in case you try to remove it like a proper BlackBerry. <laughs> that won't work. You can see in the real model, you push that in and it comes off like that. And also you have the uh, cradle pins there for charging. And this one, those are just for show. You have to like, really force it out. And hey, surprise, surprise, it's a dual SIM phone. I think all of these are dual SIM. No Blackberries, well, up to the Android ones. None of them had dual SIM, so... Uh, that's a, a sign right there that it's a fake. If, I mean, these are all Chinese phones, right? Probably made for the Chinese market. If you never had a real Blackberry, you may actually believe that this is a genuine one. Because, um, as I said, it's good quality, it's good built. But if you ever use the one, yeah, you could tell it's fake. Uh, first of all, dual SIM, nothing like that in a real BlackBerry back then. Uh, and it's 8900 TV. Yes, that's right. These phones have TVs. And no, this is not a stylus here. Da, 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 da. Yep, look at that. Yes, that is a TV antenna. Pretty long one too. 
Yeah, a Blackberry with TV. That's uh, new. Let's stick that back in. Yeah, we're gonna look at that in a minute. Now, yeah, those are the bands that it works with. So that would work in Europe and North America as well. Because in Europe is uh, 900 and uh, 1800 uh, megahertz frequencies, and North America is 850 and uh, 1900. Okay, yeah, let's try and turn this on. These have different polarities, so I'll just have to try. I'm not sure which one it is, but I uh, don't worry, nothing bad is gonna happen. He says, yeah, that's not it, switch this around, Oops. yeah, none of these had batteries, so this is the only way to turn them on, nope, okay, because usually it's plus there, or minus there or the other way around, but sometimes it's the middle one, which is really really stupid because it's so close to each other. But hey, it's Chinese phones, what do you expect? Yeah, this is gonna be a long video because there's got a bunch of them here. Okay, no, uh. oh, there you go. It's got the logo there, but the intro sound, oof. And um, you see how fast it loaded? Blackberries take forever to load the system. But this one, well, instant load. And the menu is actually not that bad, because if you look at it, it's uh, pretty similar to the real OS. That clicking sound, though, that's annoying. I know Blackberry had clicking sounds, but very, very mild. Uh, you can see those signals for SIM cards, it's funny because it says, uh, do you see that one, it has reception but there's no SIM card inside, so I don't know if you can actually use two SIM cards because that one gives a fake reception, yeah, uh, Wi-Fi there, uh, let's look inside the menu, yeah, it looks pretty close to the, to the original S. Text messages, MMS, <laughs> chat, email, yeah, phone book, calendar, browser, media, TV player, yeah, there it is. This, this trackball is pretty bad. Um, I tried to look for channels. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. I tried to look for channels, but uh, all analog TV channels in the UK are gone, so I couldn't find anything. But it's all static. But um, yeah, it probably worked at some point. The radio does work. There you go. Okay, stop. Shut up. How do you stop this? Alright. Camera, very, very likely all these phones have just VGA cameras. All of them. You may say 20 megapixels on the back. No, they're all VGA. Uh, audio player. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. Audio player. Empty. Yeah, looks close to the original uh, player of Blackberry. They did a good job copying all these bits. Camera, audio player, well, all these things were already there. File manager, extra, calculator, unit converter, currency converter, help, BMY. Oh yeah, what is this, the body mass index thing, it calculates your, uh, the weight you're supposed to have, I think so. Stopwatch, ebook reader, oh that's useful. 
Bluetooth world clock and Java MSN Java and Java setting games Magic Sushi. All right. Uh, oh my god, that speaker. Oh no, no, make it stop. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, let's forget about that. Yeah, so this probably just took Java games, regular Java games. Uh, organizer, calendar, to do alarm world clock. But all of these were already here. And so, like duplicates, calculators, you know, already here. Uh, Wi-Fi, let's see if this works. Uh, search for networks. Yeah, it works. Hmm, okay. Settings. Dual SIM settings. Phone setup. Security. Factory. Phone setup. Time and date. <laughs> Where's the about section here at the top? <laughs> Language. Oh, yeah, very nice. Quite a bit of languages in here. Uh, encoding. Hmm. G sensor function. Oh, wow. Swing to next music. FM radio switch channel, TV switch channel. Incoming call to silence. Oh, so you kind of uh, use the sensor inside to change the next song. Mm, okay, trackball sensitivity. Oh, wait. They made this miscellaneous settings just for the LCD light. Okay. Yeah. And this one's not that bad actually, if you could get it really cheap, you can, well, as Chinese phones go, this is uh, actually pretty nice. Let's, let's see if there's an off sound. Yeah. Okay. Let's put the antenna back inside. And the cover. Alright. Um, yeah, you can see it's got a micro USB there. And uh, I think that is a Nokia charger there actually. Because uh, most Chinese phones for charger it had a standard Nokia pen there. Yeah, and I think this is used for data. I didn't try to connect it to the PC, but okay, that's probably what it is. Yeah. See the comparison there. The logos almost the same. Yeah, no LED light notification. Twelve megapixels, yeah, no, that's VGA camera, man, no, no doubt. Okay, so that's that. Moving on. Now this one. Uh, this one is copied. After what model is this? I forget. Let's see. Okay. Right, ninety six thirty. This is co it's copy. Uh, no BlackBerry logo again. No LED light is the camera there instead. Uh, keyboards, yeah, clicky. Not as bad as the other one, but still. At the back. Digital camera, yeah, that's VGA. Uh, yeah, my 
micro USB port there and again the Nokia charger pin there at the back and of course the antenna again because this one has a TV too you can see the logo there yeah it only has four of those blackberry dots okay you can see on the original one you remove the back cover like this all right and this one <laughs> nope slide it down like so and then there's dual sim again um made in china gsm it's hard to see there but it's got the same frequencies as the other one so could be used internationally let's try and turn it on let's try the same pins as the other one maybe yeah, maybe it's made by the same people ah we got ten sparks okay No, well, see they're all different. Full try trial and error here. Mm, no, switch them around. This looks like um, Nokia battery pins as well, but I don't have any Nokia phones, so you can probably get some Nokia batteries in there and make them work. Okay, let's try. Huh. Oh yeah, there is. Oh man, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That hurt. That speaker is way too loud. Oh no. Oops. Come on. Oh no, it works. Oh, what did I do? Why is the flash on? So many questions. What happened? Oh no, this is so bad. Hey, you press. What is happening? Okay. Close. Okay, that's gone. Well, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. Um, there's the trackball. Bah, it's just as bad as the other one. And you notice here on the green key and the home key, there's one and two. That's probably how you answer the phone when, uh, or how you make a call from SIM 1 and SIM 2, I suppose. Um... Yeah, uh, just as yeah as the one other one, you see there's a single signal reception there. That's SIM one, even though there's no SIM inside. So uh, let's look inside this menu, see what's what. Yeah, pretty much the same. Just copied after the original. Let's jump at the oh, goodness. puzzle. It's a tough game. This is gonna ruin my years again, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's just a, just a yeah, it's a puzzle game. Make Mona Lisa's face. Uh, wait. Yeah. Anyway, you get a picture. Mona Lisa. What's with the beeping sound? Oh my god, these are annoying. No, the other one was much better. I don't like this one. What is this? 
audio player. Oh, but it's got the icon of the media menu. Okay. Come on. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh yeah, no, this, this is definitely not worth buying. I mean, the other one wasn't worth buying, but this one, this one is just ridiculous, it's unusable. Look at it. Hello. go to settings okay 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 I has the camera again oh my god yeah no forget about it this is just rubbish no nope, no nope, I'm done with you this one yeah this is really bad unusable even for fake phones, it's uh, it's bad. It's really heavy. There's some metal here in the back cover. Uh, this bezel here, that's metal. It's really heavy. So maybe they thought, okay, let's make the phone really heavy and a uh, good outer material, but let's make the insides rubbish, which this one is. Okay. Now. Here we actually have two copies of uh, the Blackberry Bold. Which Bold is this one? Uh, one. Uh, okay. Mm, 9,700. Okay. Copy it after this. Got this one right here. It's got this massive trackpad here. Uh, the Blackberry logo down here, can you see the screen is smaller, again the camera instead of the LED notification. Um, yeah, none of these had working. You see this one has these uh, charging bits here, but I doubt it very much that they work. Oh yeah, uh, this one had a sticker at the back. Uh, Steve said that these blackberries um, were given to his well, to the company he was working on. Uh, he was working for the marketing department, I believe, uh, for Blackberry, and they were given these fake ones um, to, to know how to identify fake ones, I believe. And they had stickers pointing out to. Um, how to tell a fake blackberry and this one had a sticker pointing to this logo look at that logo it's just ridiculous but i peeled that off and just peel this fake leather stuff with it as well this one has a nice uh feel to it to the touch this one is some fake layer there really cheap okay Look at that, 8.1 megapixels. <laughs> yeah, okay, nope. Uh, let me see, does this one have an antenna? Oh, yeah. Yes, the antenna right here. There we go. Look at that, massive. It's three times the size of the freaking phone. And put that back in there. Okay, same as the other one, SIM 1, SIM 2 there, very clicky, annoying keys. And, uh, well, at least the back cover sort of comes out the same way as the original. Yeah, I c you remove this a couple of times, it's probably going to come off with this outer layer. Again. The Nokia charger and this time mini USBs. Who uses mini USBs in phones anymore? These were not that old, and mini USB was long gone by the time this came out. And um, yeah, and they still put mini USB there instead of micro. Weird. Okay, yeah, same thing inside, same frequencies, dual SIM. Let's try to turn it on.
Oh my god. What is with these loud sounds, man? Oh, lock screen. Okay. Press unlock and then, okay, I guess that's the one. Yeah. That one? Yeah. But the icon was over this key, not that one. Okay. Same. Oh, oh come on. Is that locked back after like, what, three seconds? Yeah, again. Uh, signal is rece reception there. Or maybe that was for SOS. I don't know, man. Who knows? Okay, let's unlock this again. Keyboard unlocked. Yeah, if you hit back tries to open the phone book um, well the trackball works the, the track uh, pad kind of Facebook anybody yeah it doesn't work very well it jumps around a bit this uh, track Add Snapshot Opera Me. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of applications in here. Let's jump to oh TV. Yeah, that doesn't work. Radio. Lovely. Searching. Oh. Forget it. Oh no! Make it stop. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as the. Oh no! It's still going. Stop, please. Oh, good God. Okay. Settings. Phone settings. Schedule power on off. Oh. Languages, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Quite a bit. Teams. Yeah, it's just colors, different colors. Yeah, they all have pretty much the same software inside. I wonder if uh, this is all made by the same company. Because they're very similar. I mean, the design was copied after different uh, Blackberries, but the internals are almost the same. Yeah. So, pretty much the same as the others. I think we're done here. Alright. Second copy, do a comparison here. Same thing, camera, uh, smaller screen. These keys are not that bad actually. Not Blackberry, but not as bad. I think this one was the worst. Oh, yeah, listen to that. Oof. Okay, let's turn this on. Yeah, you see this one has that thing there at the bottom, Nokia thing, and what looks like a Samsung proprietary USB port there. I haven't tried it, but that looks like Samsung to me, the old Samsung ones. Um, what's this here? Yay! It's another antenna. 
this one it comes out of the bottom to make it even more ridiculous but you can put it like that and watch TV except you have to watch like this so it made sense when it was at the top but you know you watch TV like that and the antennas up but if you have to make it kind of point down or to the side anyway why am I questioning this? This is so dumb in the first place. Oh, let's put that back. Uh, again, the lovely uh, logo there with uh, one too many dots. Yeah. Okay. Ninety-seven thousand TV, ninety-seven hundred TV. There's no, there's no company. Of course, there isn't, because then you would be traced back to it. Yeah, again, SIM one, SIM two. What looks like a Nokia battery there. I think uh, you know the E series Nokia batteries. Yeah, I think that would fit in here those massive Nokia batteries. Let's try and turn them on. Well, makes sense. Uh, the Nokia charger port there. The Nokia battery. And uh, yeah, I'll show you another thing later on that they took from Nokia. So, might be in this one or in that one because we have one more left to go. Yes, yeah, Well, at least this one didn't hurt my ears. Friday. Insert SIM. Hmm. This one only has uh, one SIM reception icon there. Even though it has two SIM ports at the back. And one says insert SIM 1, and the other one is went between insert SIM 1 and insert SIM 2. So maybe this one isn't dual SIM, maybe it just had the extra SIM port there, but maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, you know, this one had the has the beeping sound of Nokia menus. You know the old Nokia menus when you scroll. Settings. Oh, dual SIM settings. So we might have dual SIM then. Phone settings. Yeah, same menu as the other ones. Yeah, miscellaneous menus just for LCD backlight. <laughs> okay. Right. TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna click on that again. All right, and they they co they copied the interface really good. Well, this one has the the Rogers uh, menu there, but um, the original BlackBerry menu does look like that. Yeah, let's put that on. Yeah, well, more or less. It is a good copy. Oh yeah, look look at that Blackberry logo. Oof. Okay. I'm done with that one. And finally. Now this one is uh, extra special, this last one. It's copied after the Vol 9000. This is the original one right here. And... Uh, yeah, it's much much smaller than the original, but the overall idea is the same. And a massive BlackBerry logo there, uh, no flash, no volume, camera key, no charging port. Oh yeah, I just realized this has no side keys at all. See, instead of keys here, it's got colorful world. Wow. Um, it's got just the micro USB. Yeah. 
port no nokia charging port this time but this one instead of an antenna is got Da -da 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 -da. Yep, a stylus. A Blackberry with a stylus. That's a first. No Blackberries ever had a stylus. Never, never, ever. Now, let's open this one up. I'm not sure how. Ah, there we go. Yes. There's something there, maybe I can uh, Google that and see what comes up. Oh, there's a memory card in there too. <laughs> uh, remember how the all the European um, electronics need to have that CE certified uh, sticker there? <laughs> this is a, uh, well, it's a fake sticker, it's not a CE certified unit. Look at that camera, man, that's so tiny. Is that even VGA? And, uh, what's that, production date? Yeah, November 2009. See that there? Yeah, maybe I'm gonna Google these codes and see what comes up. Okay, let's turn this last one on. This one has a funny intro sound, we'll see in a minute. Come on. Nope. I know it works because I turned them on before. There we go. That's right. It's got the Nokia uh, turn on sound. Yeah. On the other ones, they stole the Nokia charging ports and Nokia. Uh, battery uh, shape there, but this one <laughs> even stole the intro, a Blackberry phone with a Nokia intro sound, so that's good. And it's got the uh, kind of like the iPhone slide to unlock thing here. So it's just a bunch of things from other phones. Oh, come on. Right. And a stylus, which is great. Yeah, and it doesn't even work that well. Oh, -ho. here we go go menu yeah that's rubbish okay yeah same thing copied after the original but on a much much smaller and crappier screen this one doesn't have any radio <laughs> oh like the media the the music player icon is uh, shortcuts. Tone setup. Oh no no no! I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna ruin. And actually, let, let's see if he's got any uh, Nokia tunes in there. Tone setup. Add 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 delete all. Okay. What? Didn't I click on tones? Tone setup. Uh, I don't think that's what they meant by that. These are shortcuts. Why does it say tone setup? This is confusing. Let's try it in the. What's here? Multimedia. Video player. Real player. <laughs> Audio player. Empty. Uh, never mind. Uh, 
the sounds. Where do I get the? Where, do, where can I find the sounds? I'm curious. What's there? Phone setup. Uh, handwriting. Yeah. Okay. With that stylus in this tiny screen. No. 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 Miscellaneous LC. <laughs> Uh, security. Maybe it's in the profiles. Does it have a profile menu? Fun and games. Games. Mahjong. Uh, nope. Back. File manager. Where can I set the to the music, the sounds? How do I do this? Settings. Oh, time and date, schedule power off, language, preferred input method, display, handwriting. Well, hmm. Ah, user profiles, of course, there it is. Customize, tone setup. Let's see. <laughs> oh no, it's got the Nokia tune. <laughs> okay. Okay, I had enough. Uh, okay. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, I had enough of, like, of fake blackberries. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this. Uh, look at that. 43 minutes, oh my god. But uh, these, these, I, I had uh, other ones. I don't have them here. Uh, other blackberries, which were really really good copies of the original uh, they were so good that I I really thought they weren't fake um, inside the PCB looks real uh, the uh, pen number uh, is the same as the software the software inside is real it updates it's it looks exactly like a Blackberry but but on the PCB there's some uh, Chinese stickers inside uh, the case was fake you could tell the case is fake it was of bad material but it was an exact exact copy so I wonder if uh, uh, they got their hands on the schematics for the PCB so they just made their own blackberries outside of research and motion and then they just made cases and sold them as real blackberries. Don't get me wrong, they are, well, as long as functionality goes, fully working blackberries, but counterfeit blackberries. But they, was, they, would, they would still work in theory. And uh, yeah, as I said, they had old Chinese stickers, so you could tell. And uh, one of them, uh, it was uh, an... 8120 phone and on the sticker it says 8100 so the sticker was the fake sticker was wrong was printed wrong so you could tell it was fake but the but the internals the, they were exactly like a real one it, it was even recognized by the desktop software as a real blackberry so they've done a good job um, of re replicating that one Okay, uh, this has been going on long enough. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.